we're going to talk about the SIPOC diagram, uh, which stands for Supplier, Import, Process, Output, and Customer. Now, this is a very useful diagram, in, especially in Six Sigma projects, when you're trying to uh, demonstrate, when you're trying to showcase where your project is. Is this a supply chain project or a manufacturing project or which sequence of the company supply chain this project comes from? Um, also, it's very useful to sit down with your project team and go over the process steps that you're looking to improve at a very high level as well as look at all the inputs and all the outputs that go into these process steps. That gives your team an overall picture uh, at a very high level of what is going on. And it's a good first data collection step as you're starting the project. So right in the middle here, we start with uh, the process map. Now the process map can be very complicated, but in, in the SIPOC diagram, the process map is about four to six steps at a high level describe the process. In this case, we're making coffee. So you're adding coffee to the machine. You're adding water to the machine. Add your cup, make a selection, and enjoy your coffee. So these are the five steps that we have outlined in this process. Let's look at the inputs to this. The input to this process obviously is ground coffee, is water, and a cup. The suppliers that provide this input are coffee supplier, city water, and cap supplier. So those are the suppliers that provide these products. Now, the process also has outputs, and the only output here is freshly brewed coffee. And the customer for that coffee is the person who is requesting the coffee or the employee of XYZ Corporation. So this is a fairly simple example of the SIPOC diagram. Um, as you know, as we get into more complex processes, uh, these inputs and outputs, as well as supplier and customers, become larger. You, know, you might have multiple suppliers providing one input, which is kind of an eye-opening thing when you're working in an environment where you're trying to identify who is doing what. So again, very useful chart, but it's a high-level diagram in the define phase of Lean Six Sigma project. 